this the way I want it. Yes. Not comfortable, I'm sure it's comfortable. Hey, Miss Johnson. Hey, all things, Tay. There's something on the screen. Hey, Sweet Desire. I'm doing fine. Ooh, y'all got y'all sitting on a pot. I don't have no treadmill. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Miss Sharon. Hey, just kind of. Hey, Judy. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I'll be trying my best. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Stacy. Hugs to you. Hey, Renee B. Hey, Angel Lee. Hey, Wanda. How y'all doing this fine Saturday afternoon? I know I'm late as usual. Hey, Ms. L. Hey, Xavier. Hey, Taylor. How you guys doing? I know, hey, such a pretty lady. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, I've been, you know, hey, low life. I've been doing the food videos. What's up, Kimberly? I love it. Oh, thank you. She said we love you in Dayton, Ohio. I've been putting up some food videos, but I've really been not doing too good on the blogs because I haven't really gotten everything in my house yet as far as like unpacking. I unpacked all the little bit of stuff that I did show you guys. I'm still waiting on my son to go to get the rest of my stuff. And it's been, I told my son come January 7th, it's going to be a month and y'all haven't gone and got my stuff yet. So I'm waiting for the rest of my stuff to come in because there was like between they working and coming home 12 o'clock at night, they be tired in the morning. They got to get up, get ready for work. But I told them something got to give. Y'all, because I got a lot of stuff that was in my storage that I need to unpack and put up. And all the other stuff. So I really don't. And I really ain't been going nowhere because my car needs some brakes. And I'm scared to drive it. So it's a lot of stuff that's like, what's up, Tom TV? It's like it's a lot of stuff that's going on. So I really just like been in the house. Just like been chilling in the house. But I also been busy working on a new project. Thank you, Lean. Thank you, Miss Scott. Hey, Miss Scott. So it's a lot of stuff going on. I've been busy working on a new project and everything. So yeah, um, I'm be doing videos real soon. It's a lot of stuff I just got to get in place and stuff. And things takes time to um, you know, to happen. But um, with that being said, guys, before we get started in this video, thank you, Low Life. No, I didn't. I'm in I'm Merlin. Um before we get started this video, guys, I just want to say thank God for waking me up, spending another day with my family and friends. Because that long clock haven't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah, so I just, you like, I just been, I ain't think y'all want to see me just sitting in the house. Because I literally just sit in the house look at TV. And it'd be me and Jackson, people, my other sons be at work. And I be thinking that's boring, you know. So I be like. Who wants somebody to sit in the house? I don't know because I be watching TikTok and people be watching people just be not be doing nothing. I mean, people be watching people just sitting around their living room or or just be sitting. I was like, it, it's so crazy. Is there anything that goes on on the couch? <laughs> and so I be like, I you know, I be like, who wants to be do nothing? I don't know. Got to get out do something, but right now I can't get out and do anything. I'm glad they fixed that gas leak. Yeah. How you know about my gas leak? 
I must have talked about the gas seat, did I? I didn't talk about, yeah, I probably did. Oh, thank you, LaWanda. Oh, yeah, they did fix the glass seat. And another thing, they turned the water off again. I'm telling y'all, I haven't lived in an apartment in about, since 2013. Y'all do the math, 2013, 2023. I haven't lived in an apartment in that long. And I forget all the ups and downs that comes with living in an apartment. Like other people, you trying to take the water, you're taking a shower, your water fluctuating because you hear people in the other apartment. Somebody came in their bathroom and turned their water on or flushed the toilet or turned on water. And then all of a sudden, your shower water go from, from right temperature to steaming hot. And like 10 years, yeah, I forget about all that stuff. And then, you know, and I was like, dang, I said, I was telling my son, I said, we know we live in an apartment now. And that time I turned around, like yesterday, emergency water cut off. We in here getting ready for work. You know, well, I'm not, but this, my son's in here getting ready for work. I said, uh oh, y'all better, uh oh, on TV video. Okay, Miss Bridget. I said, uh oh, y'all better hurry and go get in the shower. They said, why? I said, they about to cut the water off at one o'clock. <laughs> you should see the family scrambling. And I think when I saw the message, it came in like 11 30. I said, y'all better hurry up because they leave out around 2 30 to go to work. I said, y'all better hurry up. It's 11 30. They're about to have emergency water cut off. This is like the, my son, they got to run it. Everybody said, I'm going in there first. I'm I said, it's, it's living. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about it. Miss Bridget, girl, the mind's a terrible thing to waste. And this happened yesterday. I said, this make the what? The third time or the fourth time they didn't mess up the water. I said, first the gas. Hey, Roxy, first the gas leak. They cut it off. Um, They cut that off. And then the water, like this, like the fourth time. I said, y'all, we, I said, y'all have to adjust. And it's nothing wrong to adjusting to things around you. I mean, we did it before. Hey, Kay and Ray, how you doing? We we all did it before. It's just called an adjustment. Just something new you got to get used to. It's not like it's not familiar, but it's just like, you know, you forget those things that 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 comes with um that comes with apartment living. And it's all good, you know. And one thing I can say is that the parking space is really good. It's strange, but you know, it's good. Um but yeah, okay guys, so welcome to On The Couch. It's been a minute. Y'all know y'all seen the split thing. We're going to be doing two things on here because I have a general a general question that asks you guys. Somebody I know personally just went through something recently. I don't know. I think that would make it more fun, but it, Angela Lee, it was expensive on my end because even though it was a toll-free number for you guys, I had to still pay like... 50 cents a minute or something like that. And so that's one reason why I start um, being right here with you guys. I already said I'm going to go live on New Year's. I'm going to come live about 1030. From 1030 to about 1230, I'm going to come live. I'm not going. I've been invited somewhere, but I'm not going out. I'm going to be right here in the house. If I get my hands on some champagne and orange juice, I'm going to get me a mimosa. Not don't know for sure that's going to happen. But if not, I'm just going to, we going to, I don't have no music. But again, like 50 cents a minute or something like that. It, it could have been a little bit lower than that. No life. I'm just putting it out there. Maybe 20 cents a minute or something. It was a little bit. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was costly on my end. So, you know. People ain't giving you no one eight hundred number. They say it's free. It's free for you to call, but a person who purchases it, they gotta flip the bill. That's why I say, okay, y'all, y'all got like two minutes to say what you gotta say, and we go on to the next person. Hey, Susan Q. Hey, Poverty. I'm placing an order today. What you placing the order of, Susan Q? She said I'm placing the order today. <laughs> what you placing the order of? Tell me, boo. Um. And so, yeah. She said, I'm placing the order today. I'm selling something. I'm trying to figure out what I'm selling right now. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is the question. And, it, and let me know, is this common sense or is it implied? I told this person that it was implied. So you shouldn't. Oh, okay. 
Okay, but my housewoman gift. Okay, so cute. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Girl, you threw me off. I was like, y'all, that cake got to go. Hey, Miss Hers, before I got on here with you guys, I'm not going to lie. I ate a piece. Because I, I just got from me and Jackson just got from eating breakfast. So that's what, that's what took me so long. Because I promised Jackson I was going to cook him some breakfast um, if he go to my storage locker. Because I had got a thing saying that. Because uh, we, we do Amazon lockers here. And I had got a thing saying something was in my Amazon locker. And usually my older sons, on their way, on their way in from work, they'll go to the Amazon locker for me. And I'll get whatever's in there like 12 o'clock, 1230 at night. But I was waiting on a special package that I ordered. And it came. And I was so pressed. I said, Jackson, please go to the Amazon locker for me. And, um, I'll make you some breakfast. Because I wasn't going to make you no breakfast at first. I was like, to every man is itself. I said, I'll make you some pancakes and sausages. The battle hopped up, put his clothes on with the Amazon locker. And then they said, no, it was 2.30. And I was like, I got to make this man his food before I go live. Because you know why? I said, when I get on this live, I'm going to get stuck. Because I ain't been on here for a minute. And you know how y'all love having conversations. And I said, the next thing you know, it's going to be about 5 o'clock. I'm going to still be on live. And I ain't cooked this band of his pancakes and sausage. So I said, let me, it was 2.30, 2.45. I said, I'm just going to be a little bit late because I know when I get on here, I'm going to be on here for a minute because it's been a while. So I said, let me make his pancake and sausage. So I made his food. And while I was making his food, that lemon velvet cake was sitting on the table. Y'all ate two pieces. I said, I was talking to this cake. I had a whole conversation. I said, you got to go. I don't know where you going or who come to get you, but you got to go. No, Miss Hers, I haven't seen nothing for you today, but look, it was just a sneak peek. Look at all this we about to open up. You may be in here somewhere. I'm about to do all that right there. So, you may be in here somewhere. But I only, only did one video on the first gifts I got. And then I, I was trying to let things to collect because of the holidays. And I get the mail is running crazy. So, I see a lot of things that was purchased but haven't gotten here yet. But this is all the stuff in the last couple of days that have came. So, you may be up in here somewhere. Yeah, so... Back to my cake. Y'all know I tell you guys one reason why I don't make cake on my channel. Cake runs in my family. Okay. My grandmama was my mother's mother. My mother used to make cake every week. And then I didn't make it every week. But anytime I make one. So y'all, this lemon velvet cake. It rings all the bells and the whistles. Okay. When I say it's moist, it is actually velvety. That's why I come to name Velvet. It has a it's silky. In the lemon, I exploded it with that lemon flavor. She got to go. Because I already said that. I, and I don't mean no harm. I know it's a waste of food. Somebody said, why you going? I don't care if this bitch go in the trash. Better her to go in the trash than to go on my hips. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you she got to go. And I was thinking about that. I said, next time I come to this kitchen, because my, my, I live with people who don't eat sweets. They eat sweets, but they're not cake people. My sons are not cake people. That's why when their birthdays and stuff came, I didn't do too many cakes. I got a little cake. My sons, they don't like cake. And they'll, they'll probably eat one piece or don't eat none at all. So, yeah. So that's me and her had a whole conversation this morning, not sitting at the kitchen and at the table making Jackson food. Cause no, she got to go. She tastes too good. Okay, now. <laughs> but that's when you gotta have willpower, y'all. You gotta have willpower. Cause you know you can't be talking to the food. Food don't talk back. It's all up to you. Unless it's a real sausage party up in this camp. Y'all know, quote the movie Sausage Party when the food was talking to everybody. Hey, Miss Butler. Okay, so. The first have on the cows. Let's get this on. Let's get this. I have because I have a um, I have um. Uh, oh, to pick up my new glasses. Yes, you see me with my glasses. Um, Roxy said yes. I know that feeling. I ate a whole cake for Thanksgiving. Shaking my girl, a cake would do it to you, won't it? A good cake would do it to you. 
So, y'all, let me get back to this question. I'm, gonna, I'm about to put this whole scenario out here. And guys, let me know, is it implied or not? I say the situation was implied. And as a grown, and I'm talking about a man. As a grown man, you should have known what you were supposed to do. Okay. Whole scenario. I live out of state. Someone from my hometown calls me up. Hey, how you doing? I'm in town. Want to come hang out? First thing, want to come hang out? Yeah, but I got to catch an Uber to you. Don't worry. I got you. You get there to the location which you paid for your own Uber to get there. But it's like, don't worry, I got you. And it's coming from a man who calls you about the blue, who say, I'm in your state visiting somebody you know from your home state. Y'all follow me? Okay. You get there, you pay for the Uber, but you was told, I got you. You get there, you get introduced to the other couples there. It was other people there, four other people, married people, couple. And you make the sixth person because this man called you up to come. You laughing, drinking, having fun, ordering your stuff, you know, doing what you do. The waiter, waitress come said, I'm going to bring the chat. She looking like, what chat? The man gets the chat and tells her, oh, I ain't got this. $150. She then have to pay. She got it, but don't got it. Shouldn't have to have it. So she had to end up paying for her enjoyment, her entertainment. But you called me. You called me. Ask me out. I tell you I got to catch an Uber. You said I got you. I order my drinks. I eat whatever. The bill comes. It's 150 you tell me you ain't got it. Then I then so have to pay for it. But I got it, but don't got it. But I'm going to have it because I can't be sitting here looking stupid. Then he goes to say, it was never discussed. It was discussed from the moment you called me and said, I'm in your town. You want to come hang out. Isn't that an invitation? Isn't that applied that you're going to pay for my meal, pay for me to come hang out. If you come to my town, from my, you're from my old town, I'm here visiting, you want to come hang out. You tell that person, I got to catch Uber to you. Don't worry, I got you. You get there, not only did you pay for the $30 Uber to get to them, then there's other people there. And then when the bill comes, it's $150. And it's a, he's saying it's a separate check. You got to pay for your own money. Is that, and this coming from a 53-year-old grown-ass whole man. And then you're going to say it wasn't discussed. It was discussed at the time when you called me. It was implied. You called me up to go out. Now, who wrong? Was she wrong or he wrong? He was wrong. It's called dating etiquette. I'm going to tell you how I know. It say most people don't understand common knowledge. So you're trying the best to avoid. So this is how you know when you're on your own. Like my sister calls me today. Or like my girlfriend called me. She be like, bitch, you got some money? I want to go out. Let's go out. You got some money? Okay. That's how you know. Because it's implied that you're paying for yourself. Because the first question is when your girlfriend or homie call you up. Be like, you got some money? You want to go out? Let's go out. That, that's, that's how you know that it's implied that you got to do your own self. Means that she asking you or he asking you up front. You got some money. Let's go out. Well, that's applying that if you got some money, you're paying, you're paying for on your own. That means that, okay, I need to have some money. I, even though they asked me to go out, but they asked me, do I got some money? That's if, that, that's even for me to answer the question. Yeah, I'm good. Or no, I don't. And then that, the ball is back in their court to say, okay, I got you. I don't. That's how you ask somebody something. If you don't have no money and you call them up and say, um, 
meet me. Um, I'm in your town. I'd like to see you. Um, meet me here. And then when you tell them, well, I got to catch Uber. And they say, oh, I got you. You call me up for a whole fucking day. And I get there and I have to pay. I'm paying for everything. Not his stuff, but everything that's for her. But it shouldn't have been her. Then like that. He was supposed to pay for everything. You call me out the blue. I'm in my house chilling. Yeah. Before that last drink, that's exactly what I told her. That's exactly what I told her, Veronica. I said, you know what? I would have got up, said I was going to the bathroom, and I would have been out of there. He would have been paying for that bill. Talking about it wasn't discussed. It didn't have to be discussed. It was implied. You're a 53 year old grown man. Call a woman out. Call me up saying you in my hometown. Um, come out. You know. You know. Come on now. That's dating etiquette. That's that's not how you do. I know how to. I know how to tell. You know what I'm saying. So that I think he was wrong. I told her that he was wrong. He 53 years old. He he know the game by now. He knew when he called you, he ain't had no money. So he should have told you. Because what if you got there, you ain't had no money? What if you got that Sandra, that's what she said. What if you got there, if you ain't had no money? Because, and the bill came. You never asked me whether or not I had any money. You never asked me if I had any extra money to spend. Or anything. You said, I got you on the Uber. Come on out and hang with me. That's no. That's not how you do it. That's not so much. I think that applies to friends. That's not That's not how you do it. Say, I'm so. If someone asked me if I got some money, I assume they need money. or They didn't ask if you got no money. I'm saying, no, I'm talking about. When you, if a girlfriend call you, I'll be like, you got some money, let's go out. But when somebody just call you, got a blue, uh, a.k.a. a man that you haven't seen since you left your hometown. And they call you and say, hey, I'm in your town. Um, come hang out. And then you be like, well, I got to catch an Uber to you. Don't worry about it. I got you. No, I didn't take mods away, Jennifer. I think I still got some mods. You know, I'm saying anything... Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You didn't know what not she had anything. What's up, Don? You ain't know what not she's had. They're talking about me. Let me see, Jennifer. Well, I can't make no mods on here no more. I think I'm at a mod limit. I don't know what's going on. I have to check into that. So that's why I was talking about. I felt like he was wrong. I told her I felt like it was implied. I told her I would have went back to the bathroom, left that check on the table, and went right out the same door I came in at. But that, that check would have been between him and that restaurant. What's up, T Tug Likes Camera Action? Oh, you didn't get a notification. Thanks, Jennifer. I said it could be a, a troll. Don't do it. <laughs> I know it may not be our security, you know, because they be sharing the names, but um, I can't do it anyway. It's a anyway and everyone. <laughs> so my, hey, Xavier. Hey, Kerr. Yeah, for one, he was the type of guy to always have your back. I would have went out. Yeah, that was it. Was just it was just crazy, and uh, I I say I think that he was wrong. I think the situation was applied. He called you up. He in your hometown, and he said, "Come and hang out. I got you." That means that he would have paying the bill. Yeah. That too, not even Lisa could split the bill. Yes. Even you could have split, you could have split the bill. That's what I'm saying. I think too, Jane. He was definitely wrong. So anytime somebody call you up and say you in your hometown, know what you guys say, are you paying? Be straight and blunt. What's up, Tulsa? Yeah. 
Yeah, I said, I was like, yeah, I said, I said, yeah, that was wrong. The best I'm going to do is handle the tip. <laughs> oh, I know that's right. I mean, thank you. Yes, I'm coming live tomorrow night. I'm coming live at 10.30 p.m. From 10.30 to about 12.30. I will say I had some music, but I don't. I, I gave my granddaughter my Alexa. Look, them yours. Yeah, because I ain't one, I ain't, I ain't one but three. Um, I gave my granddaughter my Alexa. So I don't have no music. I could have YouTube. That's why I told her. Oh, she already made that very clear. Lose a number. When you back in town, don't call me no more. Yeah, secret star. True. She already said that. She watching. She told me she's going to be watching. She said, I'm going to watch that. She said, I didn't know. Tell me people know that. Was I wrong or was I right? Yeah, tell her. You're like, y'all give her a thumbs up because she watching. No, Tita. <laughs> Tita, I'm telling you. Y'all know if I could do bingo, I would do bingo because I have fun with bingo. We all, we all won. We all win when it came to bingo. Whether or not you're playing, whether or not you're winning, we all win when it came to bingo. For people who weren't playing, they were winning by the music and the camaraderie and the laughters and the jokes and just the fun. And people who was playing, they was getting all of that plus winnings. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, I was having fun and I was I was the house. You know, the house was collecting. It was a all it was a all around venture for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It was just a good time. I do miss it. But you know, once the pandemic hit ended, they they just cut that thing down. The government was like on top of uh they was just like on top of all that. They just cause I don't even think DC Cool and BC didn't even do it anymore. I don't even think you could do a private channel for it. Because I even tried to get this thing called Twitch. I, I didn't even know how to set that up. It doesn't cause it to say, hey, back. It say, hey, back. Hey, Jennifer. Yeah, somebody said, Jennifer, do you make a new account? Thank you, Karen, because I don't remember what Jennifer accounts look like. And Jennifer, it's like Karen is in here, and she's still on. Um, um, she's still, and I see TikTok in here still got they wrench and stuff and everything. So somebody said, why don't you pay the taxes and do it? It's not even about that. It's not legal in the state that I'm in. You have to be a nonprofit organization to fill out paperwork and all that stuff. So it's not even about paying the taxes for me with the, the taxes that come through the cash out they was talking about. It's just not, it's just not le illegal. It's illegal. You can't do it. Cause I, cause I, um, cause I checked into it. Cause I was like, hey, maybe I could start like a straight bingo channel. But actually, if you're not a nonprofit organization, um, and all this other stuff, I was reading through um, our things called DCRA, Department of Consumer Regulatory Affairs, and um, and the lottery board people and all that stuff. They only make it legal for them through these lotteries and all that stuff. It's it's no loopholes for me to do it. It's showing that she made a new account, and that's maybe why. Okay, yeah, we could do that Christmas ones, cause I had a whole lot of um, I had a whole lot of them, but I ended up losing my Christmas trivia. I don't know, T Tuck. I do not know, do not know. And so that's one part. So we talked about that. So girl, you watching? You was not wrong. It was applied, and he will never meet up with me again when he's in my town. Okay, yeah, it's interesting. Seems a little salty, yikes! And, and, and it is our Jennifer. I, you have to prove to us that you are Jennifer. I don't know what you could do to prove it, but um, you have to prove to us. Oh, everybody know where Jennifer live. I believe I know why. I, I can't say it. She said, "I hate how fake accounts um can make the same name as other people." Yeah. Yes, right, because it's called Life with Jennifer. Damn, there you go, Beauty Within 1990. There you go. It is called Life with Jennifer. Her challenge is not called Jennifer. Hey, what's up, Jay? That's true. 
That is so true. Her channel is called Life with Jennifer. Yes. And I just say, tell us what city, what state she lived in. Anybody, everybody remember what state Jennifer lived in? I remember in my head. Okay. Okay. Tell me what state you live in. If you tell me what state you live in, because I know what state Jennifer live in. I think a couple of us know what state Jennifer live in. Then I know it's you. She was like, God damn it. Every day I got to prove my love. <laughs> Y'all remember what movie that was from? And y'all remember what movie that was from when he said he came back to the table and, and the man was sitting there and uh, he put his drinks down. He said, every day I got to prove my love. Yes, the five heartbeats, Jay. <laughs> you right, Jay, 265. That was from the five heartbeats. I that was laughing. Like, I don't, I just recently saw the five heartbeats, um, yeah, I remember her state she did that too. She said, yes, I'm a step, don't remember me, but you ain't still saying the state you live in. We know where Jennifer lived. Yes, Miss Harris said the five heartbeat. She said, it is too much shenanigans going on. It is, Tita. It is, y'all. Y'all believe it? It is about to be the year 2024. 2024 what's up erica boo 2024 man we gotta go into this light into this new year with a lot of positivity a lot of compassion a lot of change ways and i know we say this every year and people say this stuff yeah and people say this every year but we got to stick to our guns. We do new vision boards every year. Go back and, see, and revisit the old ones you did. 2020 was a story written with love and laughter and lessons. Yes. Everything that you learned that was positive, take it into the new. Everything that you learned that was negative, leave it where it's at. I, mean, I remember when 2000 and everyone was taking up, yes, the food, stacking up food supplies, talking about, um, talking about your banks and the, the banks, the bank accounts was going to freeze up or your banks was going to collapse and all kinds. I remember when they talking about the 2K. It was like they was going to a whole new era like they didn't understand. It was a hot mess. Hey, Erica D. Hey, Miss P, happy new year. And we going into something new, new bright ideas, new, you know, new relationships. You know, don't take nothing to you, nothing old into, the, into your positive. That's not bringing nothing to the table. That's not having your mind, having your mind straight and, you know, being, and being sane. I'm telling you, cause I got to tell my sister, I was like, shit, once January hit, it's going to be summertime all over again. Actually, this is a headboard, Miss P. This is a king size platform bed. This is a headboard. I am in my son's room. I am currently remember the video that I um that I went with me and my son and my sister went to Blockbusters. I did a little sneak video of him buying some furniture. No, you ain't missed a gift opening yet. So my son bought a beautiful, beautiful high ass platform king size bedroom set it is so beautiful and he let me sleep in it because i don't have a bed yet and right now i can't afford to get me a bed so my son is out in the living room and i tell him every day like i told him this morning he came here i said whenever you want your bed let me know i said i'll just sleep go see he said mom how can I buy me a bed and put it up and you on the floor and not let you sleep in? He said, come on now. I said, I just want, I said, I don't want you to think I'm taking over your bed. I said, this is your bed. You haven't even slept in it yet. You put it together and you said, mom, go get in the bed in his room. So I, um, that's, you know, and I, and my sister said, yeah, I said, yeah, I said, he haven't slept in his bed. I said, he fixed his bedroom up. And told me to go ahead and get his bed until I get one. I said, how long that going to be before I better get me a bed instead of get me a bed? I don't know. But, um, but I ask him every day. Um, Fufu, my son Fufu. I ask him every day. I said, do you want your bed? Do you want to get in your bed? I said, I was the first one. He told me, Ma, no, Ma, no. He said, you good, you good. 
He said, you just got to get you a bed. I said, I don't know when that's going to happen. But this is my son, beautiful platform, velvet, king size bed. And I'm going to tell you, this thing comfortable. It's so comfortable. I said, you can sleep beside me. He said, I don't want to sleep with you. <laughs> I felt kind of ushy. I said, you don't want to sleep with me. He said, I don't want to sleep with you. <laughs> I said, the bed's the big so dang old bed. I'm literally just on one side and it's nothing but like a whole twin side on the other side. I said, you could I said, you could lay I don't want to sleep with you. <laughs> I said, okay. He even got his little lights up. You know how the young people put the lights up around the room and you turn the lights off and do the little um lights, they flicker and all that stuff. But it's all big. I'm working on it though. But yeah, they were so funny. I said, okay. Mm. It's like, it teach foo foo. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, y'all, and um prayers go out to my brother. I know y'all know all about my brother and his situation. He's tea at the hospital now with him. Oh, excuse me. I was so afraid. And that's another thing, too, y'all. I've been crying. Like last yesterday, I was I took a shower last night. And I was in the shower and I was crying in the shower because I was missing my mom. Every now and then, even though I know it's going on um, three years come August, it's still a, it's still sometimes a hard pill to uh, a hard pill to swallow. You miss Fufu come to fix bingo, yes, right? And so I um I was crying last night in the shower about missing my mother. And then, you know, then I was thinking about my brother Tutu. A lot of things they said that could have been wrong. They end up not being wrong. We were so happy about that. He still had to get um a piece of his toe amputated and everything. But um he's going to be okay. And and, and it's like, it's just, it was just, it's just a whole lot. You know, this is, it was just a whole lot. And, even, and I'm so glad with the move. But, um, you know, he's doing good. You do too, Jan. I do too. And I was literally in the shower last night just with, with my head up against the wall, just crying. And I was just thinking about my mother. And, and sometimes it get like that. Um, thank you, Jennifer. Sometimes it get like that. And so, you know, but you know, I got it together and yes. And um, like I said, then the stuff was going on with my brother and I was like, ugh. And this is a whole lot. And I'm so glad that my sister got vacation coming up because she needs a break. Because with everything my brother going through, you know, my sister help and I help. See, y'all don't see me do things. I do stuff off camera too. But my sister do a little bit more than I do. And it's okay because she took on that because like she said, with my legs and my arthritis, my legs be hurting and stuff like that. And she be like, nope. And do it. You know, she even do it, help do things for me. Like she went and got my medicine when my medicine wasn't ready. Then people told me my medicine is going to be ready. My son went to go get my medicine. They get try to get him to run around, told him that it wasn't there. I wasn't in their system. I've been coming here for four years. How I'm not in your system. I just got this medicine like two months ago. Talking about my insurance ain't trying to pay for it. I said, that's not true. And then he Tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, no. It's in now. They have my medicine on hold and I had to wait two days. Then my son couldn't go back and get it because his work schedule. So who gets to go get my medicine? My sister, because I've been four days without my medicine. Then I wasn't feeling well. And, you know, I was dizzy and all this other stuff. Not feeling well. So my sister, what she did, dropped everything she went. And she said, I won't get your medicine. Get there. They tried to tell my sister again. The medicine still wasn't there. I said, they told me it was going to be ready in two days. That they had a, they had a, um, they had to go get it because they didn't have it in stock. And then my sister finally get there. My son get there. They told me this story. And then when my sister get there, they going to say it's still not there. I said, well, it's been four days. It's supposed to have been there by now. Child was her. And then they all oh, man, oh, well, no, we got it. We got it. We found it. I was like, oh. It's just like, it's, it's been a whole lot. It's just been a whole, whole, whole lot. And, you know, and sometimes things be out of control. People, you know what I'm saying? Paper, sorry about the brother. Oh, thank you, Anna. Yeah, so it's just been a whole lot, but everything good. It seems like everything is slowly coming back, coming back now. You know, I got my medicine. My brother's doing much better. You know what I'm saying? 
And because I was scared, y'all. I was so scared. Especially when they got talking about his lungs may not be good and everything. I was just like, you know what type of stuff runs in your head when you hear stuff like that from doctors and stuff? The first thing you think about. But we, I had to hurry to get that out of my head and just pray. And with all the praying and talking to him and all the crying and the worrying and everything, everything is good. Everything is working out. Everything is good. Yes, it's a headache. It really is, but everything is good. So I said, let me get on my live because it's been a while. Now, I'm not going to front you. I've been on TikTok one time. Had a good time over there on TikTok. But, you know, I only got one phone device. So I can't do everything at the same time. Yeah, too, too good. He called me before we actually he called me about around 1.30. He called me. And, I, you know, we talked to each other on telephone. That's my baby. That's our baby brother. So I be like, if we don't take care of him, you know, my mother going to be coming for us because that was her baby. She loved all of us. But Tutu, she loved her baby. That was her baby. My mother, my mother be like worried about Tutu when she shouldn't have been. But she was. That's her baby. We got to take care of her baby. You know what I'm saying? He may be 30 some years old, but he's 30 some years old with mental issues. And we and we don't have mental issues. So sometimes, at least I don't think I do. I don't know. But uh, we had to take care of our, bro our little brother. Because we was at the point where it's like, maybe he got moving with one of us. You know, hey, oatmeal, cream pot. What the hell? A comment for sore eyes. Did y'all see that? A old friend. You need cataract surgery. Mm-hmm. I had to double. Oh, how you doing? And happy New Year's and happy holidays to you. How you doing, girl? I'm so glad to see you. We're ushering in a new year. And I'll be at church tomorrow. So I know I'll be about 10 30. Our church services start at 7 30, but it's virtual online. So I don't think it's gonna um I don't think it's going to be that long, but as soon as my church service is over with and I get myself together, I will be here at 1030. My granddaughters are coming over tomorrow because Sahara has got had gotten a, a lollipop candy making set. And so um, her and NIE be over tomorrow afternoon. Um, we get them by one. We're going to have them between from one to about five or six. And we're going to have them from 1 to about 6. And we're going to be making, um, I'm going to see if Josh will let me record it. Because they don't be liking the kids on camera. You know, the social media could be so cruel sometimes. So they don't be liking the kids on camera. But we're going to be making lollipops and candies tomorrow from the candy making Christmas set they got. That Sahara had gotten from her dad. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow it's from 1 to 6. And then I'm going to church, start at 7.30. And I'm going to church. And then after church, I'll be here around 10.30 um, to go live with you guys. Hey, Crock-Pot Queen. But yeah, and I'm still drinking my water. Yes, it's good. Anybody going to go anywhere? Anybody going to do anything? You're staying in the house. Um, So... Before we get finished, I missed the video of Sahara eating off her grandmother's plate. Yes, but why a couple of months ago, I found I went and looked at that video on how Cat Killer will be making. Yeah, Cat Killer be here too, y'all. I miss Cat Killer so much. I'm going to be wrong. I miss Sahara so much too. That's my baby. My granddaughters, I, they're my heart and joy, okay? But Cat Killer came over here. I was sitting in the kitchen. Y'all know Kate Kelly used to live with me. Sahara didn't live with me. She lived with her mom. But Kate Kelly been living with me since she was born. So her not being in with me and being in the house with me, y'all got to be called my damn granddaughter, Kate Kelly. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> she been in the house. Hey, Emma. She been living with me since she was born. And this transition with her not living with me is really hard on her. I talk to her about five times a day. She sends me um, 
messages through DM on Facebook, whatever she doing, coloring. She be sending me messages, um, um, voicemails. Sometimes the stuff be so overwhelming, I had to call her mama, dad. Do y'all know y'all daughter got the tablet? Do y'all know she got the tablet? They like, yeah. I said, y'all know she just sent me about 50 messages. And they said, N.I.E., stop sending grandma all the messages. I said, my phone just be going, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> and I open all of them. And I listen to all of them. And I reply to some of them and I call her. Or when they get overwhelmed, I call her parents to snitch on her. Hey, Mr. Weaver. <laughs> but so when she came on here on Christmas, and she got all because they so she do Hanukkah. And um, so she does Hanukkah. So she had all her Hanukkah gifts here. So when she came, she got her Hanukkah gifts. And um, the first day she came, I was in the kitchen sitting down cooking. She ran to me, Grandma, Grandma, I miss you so much. I'm just saying, she's, she's, everybody says she's like me. Andrew in the room sleep. Everybody says she's like me. She's very dramatic. And she's a Libra. She is a Libra. And I think they say all, all, all us Libras are dramatic. And she's very dramatic when it comes to missing me. So I had a hug her, a rock her. And then and the periodically throughout the day, she kept coming to me. Grandma, I just love your house. I said, thank you, baby. And then um, when she finally got home and she called me, and I called to make sure they made it home. Me and her was talking. She said back and she said, Grandma, thank you for letting me come to your house. I said, baby, you're welcome. I said, you will come anytime you want to. I keep telling you, come spend night with me. She just so, she so, she so over the top, polite, and so dramatic that you can't help but love her to death. That dang on NIE is a whole lot. And my baby Sahara. I, I just adore. Thank you, Susie Q. I just adore my grandchildren. I just adore them so. I have so much love for them that it is, it, it is so freaking crazy how much love I have for them. But uh, we about to give me some tissue. I ain't want to call Jackson's name. Hey, Jackson, can you bring me some toilet paper, please? Um, my nose running. But um, with that being said, I want to give a shout out. You know, I did a little one minute video with the uh, um, um, seven and six. J. Poo, they seven and six, seven and six, and Ryan is eleven months. Seven and six and eleven months. I want to give a shout out to um everyone who bought me things off my gift gift registry i did do a video like a week ago on some of the first items that did came and so i had this right here a lot of some items came in its own box and it had nothing with it some items some items came boxes within the box they had the things in there so i want to give a quick because i by me collecting them all some of them, I don't know who gave what. But so what I want to do is that I'm going to give a quick name shout out. That thank you guys from um, sending this to me. So I'd like to thank Miss Audrey. Miss Audrey, your gift is among, amongst this pal. Thank you, Miss Audrey, for your gift. You didn't have to. It was the holidays. Hey, Miss Harris. Speaking of Miss Harris. Meg, the Trinice Harris, this is your gift right here. So that means your gift is among the things over here. Thank you, Miss Trinice Harris, for your gift. Your gift. So it is over here somewhere. Hey, Cynthia D. Berry. Cynthia, thank you so much, Cynthia, for your gift. It's over here in this pile. So where we will be going through it. Uh, Cynthia got two cards. So Cynthia got more than one thing over here. Thank you, Cynthia. Um... Cynthia D. Berry got three cards, three receipts. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. My nose trying to run. Thank you, Jennifer. Cynthia D. Berry got four things over here. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> oh, man. And thanks to everybody. I think it's this other box. It may be some the receipts down in there. So thank you so much, guys, because I might not know what gift goes to some gifts because we, we was doing recycling and getting rid of stuff. And so I said, wait, Miss Gentle. Hey, Miss East. I thought uh, I'll 
just gather all the thank you cards and just read out everybody's name and give a great, a great, great big shout out to you guys because you know it was the holidays and you didn't have to. And so you just think about me and my family. That was just a blessing. You guys are such a blessing to me and my family with our YouTube journey. And so we're going to start with this gift right here. I don't know what's in this because this is actually boxed up. So we're gonna start with this gift right here. And anybody wanna know? Yes, my registry is still up. I haven't taken it down yet. And this is something that was well needed. Ooh. All right, this is a Tupperware set. You did, Miss Pooh. I hope you feel okay. You know, I had it twice, baby. So this is a Tupperware set. This is a gift bowl set. Uh huh. I be needing stuff. This a mixing bowl set. So all that bacon that I have to, that I be doing. I'm trying to stay away from the kitchen parts when it comes to bacon. But I know I need to bake on my channel because a lot of people like the bacon. People love cake recipes. And I'm doing fine, um, Miss Gentle. Yes. And so, yeah. So, hey, again. I did a thank you. You know who you are on which gift you bought. So I did a shout out. Thank you to everybody. So this is a nice Tupperware set. I like the um, yes. bowls within bowls. So this is an eight piece Tupperware set. This is so cute. I guess I'll have to take them all out. So it's another bowl. You know, y'all you get a bowl inside a bowl inside a bowl. Yes, I needed this. I need something to store food in. Yes, this is a headboard. It's a king size platform bed. That's a velvet. It's a headboard. It's very, very beautiful bed set. Very beautiful bed set. I right, put that right there. I'm just gonna put it back in the box. Thank you. So you know who you are. Who bought this one? And I gave a shout out to your names. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm going to sit that right there on the floor. Um, got my Clorox. <laughs> I put it on there. Somebody got it for me. Oh, no. I'm 40. <laughs> she said you're going to put that there to a good use. Only for sleeping. <laughs> oh. I don't eat things. So, guys, somebody got me this, which is needed. Yeah, I love this. This is so easy to clean. But I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm going to get that new thing that be all over TikTok. That, um, that, um, they, that they um, got on TikTok, that brush scrubber. Because y'all know that, I'm keeping it real. I'm a big girl. I could clean my bathroom, but I cannot clean my tub. Because to clean the tub, you got to get up in there. You got to bend over. You got to make sure that tub is scrubbed. And right now, that thing on TikTok, I, I, I put it on my Amazon wish list, um, the brush scrubbing thing. Honey, I was like, I got to get that. Because I could do everything else in my bathroom but clean my tub. And that's just the truth of the matter. And that scrubber. Yes, it's so convenient. So, guys, I got me. It is so cute. So more, um, cause I needed this. Cause thank you so so much. That's cool. I actually made a drawer in my kitchen for all of my um bacon. So everything that's like my measuring cups, my measuring spoon. I I need some spatulas. I lost all. I had no spatulas. All my cooking spatulas, all my measure cups, measure spoons, and things like that. Um, I made a drawer. So, like, when I go and bake, I know what drawer that my measure. But somehow, measure spoons and stuff get lost. They come off the ring. They get lost. So, I made a drawer that's strictly for baked goods. Hey, uh, what's that? Miss Hot Dog? Something Hot Dog Water? And so I try to make it easy and convenient that I know where all my baking goods supplies are. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is my tea towel. Um, paper towel rack. This is my paper. This is a paper towel rack. Silver paper towel rack. 
for my kitchen. I'll put this in the kitchen. Thank you. Oh, I forget. Y'all, I be forgetting what I had on the list. Now, ooh, this right here, this is so beautiful. Let me open this up. Like this didn't come in a box. But I think, we, look at this. And this matches my kitchen so well. That's why I wanted the colors. It matched the kitchen so well. It's wood, the kitchen. I gotta give me a tablecloth for my white table. Um, the link to my Amazon gift registry is on my community board, Miss Star. It's on the community board. So this is gonna be so cute. Hey, Mr. Montgomery in the house. Thank you. Cause with those beautiful um that beautiful um pot and pan set that I got, man, I just love that it's it's stainless, it's it's um what's it called? Um non-stick but the material that it is you wouldn't think that it's non-stick is that mr montgomery yes yeah, star b i did so this is so beautiful and this matches gonna be sitting up right up on my counter you guys will be seeing this in the video because i'm gonna be putting this up on the counter it matched my kitchen so well now this box oh this box came today so let's see what's in this box. This box came today and it's not even open. So let's see what's in this box. This box came today. Oh, okay. We're gonna see who this from. This came today. This is from, let's see who this is from. And Miss Scott, I saw Shadika Scott. And I saw you in here this earlier, Miss Scott. Miss Scott, thank you. This actually came, I actually just got this out the mailbox today. The Amazon locker. So I always wanted one of these. And I am going to love this. I'm going to put this on my um sink. It's one of those expandable drainers um, that you... Uh, Thank y'all, Miss Scott. Who we congratulating for? I don't know, cause I ain't seen congratulations, baby. Anything exciting happens to you? That's wonderful. This one of these expanded strainers for cleaning fruit and draining your stuff. You can put on your sink without having to have to hold the strainer. Thank you so much. I am going to be using this, Miss Scott. Move. Congratulations, Miss Scott. Um, not Miss Scott. Miss Star B. And then, let's see what this is. It said, oh, these are the plastic cups. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> y'all remember the cups when y'all used to go to, um, when y'all used to go to All You Can Eat. They just had the brown cups. I found the white ones that put them on my registry because we didn't have any cups. Um, because, you know, I use a lot of plastic stuff. So I use a lot of solo cups. And... Thank you, Miss Scott. Look, they be together. Got some cups now. Here we go. Thank you. 16 of them, too. Thank you so much. And that stuff came today. Thank you so much. Oh, now. This is a bathroom set. Y'all yeah, know, I believe you guys saw my bathroom was brown. So this is, uh, um, you know, the toilet stool. I meant the um, trash can, the tr trash can, toothbrush. Let me see if I could put you guys back a little. So this is like the trash can, toothbrush set, toilet brush, and. These right here I use for decoration, these taller brushes. 
I don't let people use taller brushes anymore. Thank you so much. I could put some lotion. Some lotion in here. For my guests, after they wash their hands, they could, um, and stuff. So thank you, two brush holders, and of course the trash can, the drinking cup, and it's brown, so it matches the, the, the um, it matches my bathroom really, really well. Thank you so, so much. And it's the trash can top. <laughs> Okay, and this came yesterday, so I don't even know what this, this came yesterday, so I don't even know what this is either. I mean, hey, Angela. Oh, I'm about to fix my bathroom mug. That's right. This is the shower curtain. And this is a shower curtain, guys, so I'm not going to take it all the way out and stuff. And so I to use it because I have to get some hooks. But this is the brown shower curtain that will most definitely. Y'all know brown, my favorite color, Miss Parker. And when I found when I when I got this apartment, that kitchen was the brown and tan, and the bathroom was brown and tan. I was like, you know, this apartment supposed to have been for me. Because the kitchen is like the most beautiful color. I love the color of the kitchen. And yeah, so this is this part of the bathroom set, and this is the shower curtain and stuff. Okay, thank you. And let's see what this is. This box heavy. Uh, that's a southern. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoo, thank you, Jesus. Because I got one little teeny, one little teeny, teeny, weedy black knife with no ridges. With nothing on it that my sister sent, that my sister gave me <laughs> when I was at Brandon House. But Brandon didn't have any knives. I said, they don't got no knives in here. I was like, we don't have no knives. Oh, goodness. So look at this. Ah, look at this. Matching that kitchen. So this is part of the group of names. That I called off earlier. Hey, Bless Stone, how you doing? This is gonna be pretty. On, I don't want to take out the box because we got a very good picture. So you guys can see exactly what's in the box because I don't want to take the knives out because I'm laying on the bed. I'm in the bed. <laughs> oh, that is nice. But you will see it on my kitchen counter. So that that's matching. That is so matching. Dish rags. I think I talked about this is that I am not a sponge girl. My son loves sponges. He goes to the Dollar Tree and he get all those gold and yellow with the um green and yellow sponges. I like dish rags. I use them. I soak them in bleach with Dawn in the kitchen in a bowl. I keep them. I keep them clean. I love him, son Donna Nixon. I love dish rags. Thank you so, so, so much. This is a pack of, I think, 16. I love dish rags. Thank you. I needed some dish rags like there was no tomorrow. I I, 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 I can't stand sponges. I cannot stand sponges. I'm going to tell you who all this stuff from because all this stuff is in the box. And this is from... Mm. Let's see. Oh, it nine two five. So nine two five. She sent the knives, the dish rag. Um. So this came from nine two five. Thank you so much, honey. And this is the storage candy. Let's open this up. I ain't good with scissors. I gotta make sure to say I give I um this is for the bathroom too. For your like put your soaps and all that stuff, or either you can put it in the um 
put in the shower. So you gotta put these together. But you know the little baskets, let me see. It's these little baskets like this. You hang them on the wall in your bathrooms. These, they're black. So you gotta be put together. And you hang your little, um, you hang your shampoos and body washes and, and all that stuff. And it comes, it's a soap dish. And this right here. So you hang it on your bathroom walls or in your showers and put all your little shower and necessities and all that stuff in. Thank you so much, 925. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, look at that little railing. Let me see what this was. Oh, I got two paper towel. Um, I guess we'll put this one. This one came in this box. So I could put this one in the bathroom because this is a paper towel holder too that was inside this box. I didn't know this was part of this. And um, you can hang this in the bathroom for your guests. Because you don't want nobody to use your bathroom. Put their brother's hands on your um, decorative towels. Hey, humble lion. Rub your hands on your decorative towel. You know how you have a decorative towels in the bathroom? They're not for nobody to use. They're just there decorating your bathroom. And somebody can use your bathroom. Now you can have these in there. I'm going to put this in there. And I, can... I can't keep paper towels, though. I didn't get a subscription to paper towels. They go to paper towels like, like I don't know what. Let me hold this with my phone before the phone will drop. I, I can't go. I can't keep paper towels. And paper towels are expensive. Anybody know any cheap paper towels? Because I do not know. They are so expensive. So, I'm going to do another shout out just in case you didn't hear your name. Um, 925. Thank you so much, 925. Um, let me see. Yeah, 925. Thank you so much. Um, Miss. Oh, I forgot. Miss Merlin E. Wilson. Merlin E. Wilson. I forgot to say your name. When your gifts is among here. Thank you, Miss Wilson. Thank you again, Miss Scott. Thank you again, Miss Harris. Yes, thank you guys so, so, so much. Um, thank you again, Miss Cynthia. Thank you, Miss Cynthia D. Berry. Thank you so, so much. And they got Miss Harris. Yes. And thank you again, Audrey. Thank you guys for all the lovely gifts and stuff that you have provided for me and my family. Um, they were truly, truly say get a company. Yes, I'm telling you. I be having the eight pack of rolls of paper towels and look up, they be gone. They be gone. And I be fussed. I said, y'all go through paper towels like crazy. I said, in the day too, I like keeping paper towels because y'all know what I do for a living. Like if I'm on camera and I'm working and everything and I need a paper towel, you know, just to wipe my hands or wipe up a mess, there is none. Hey, Jay and Joy. Hey, um, Joy, AJ. There is none. And I be like, y'all go through paper towels like crazy. And they are so expensive. Like for eight paper towels, I'm telling you, it's like, what, $16 or something. Yes, Kearney, gifts are amazing. They're like $18. Or, oh, wait a minute, y'all. Oh, wait a minute, I got one more. Oh. Oh, yeah, this came this morning, too. I got one more. You get mine to Sam's Club um, bathroom tissue and paper towel. Yes, Miss Bullock. Yes, yeah, so great. I got one more, y'all. Oh, what's this? I got one more. I had this on my gift registry. It's probably for my grandchildren. Look at this. JJ Adventure. Meet JJ's family. It's probably for my granddaughter, my grandchildren. Oh. 
It says, welcome to JJ's Adventure. This is the first of many interactive activity books to come. This book is for ages, this book is for children ages three to seven that will allow them to explore the world of JJ through their eyes while learning new and interesting things about themselves. JJ Adventure helps them with their reading comprehension skills and the ability to remember important details in the book by participating in the book activities after the story. Y'all, look, this is so cute. Welcome to 2024. This is my new venture. I am now making children books. This came today. My book is now available on Amazon. I am making children books. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you how the idea got started. This has been a long and waiting idea. Um, it's called JJ because of Jackson. And Jackson was born, I wrote a series of stories. I wanted to do children books. Didn't know how to do it. Didn't know about Amazon Prime and stuff. And I never went back to the books. Tia asked me to do something for her that was related to her children. She said, remember you used to write books and you wanted to do activity books for kids? I said, yeah. She said, could you help me write this book? And so guess what I did? I went to, the, I went to work. I got a team of people. They did the essay graphics. Shout out to essay graphics from India. Y'all know my girl essay graphics. All the illustration work is hers. Me and her work timelessly together on the illustration. It's bright, it's vibrant. All the illustration work. She took my story. I wrote the story she, and I gave her the story. And I told her that, you know, I, because I'm an African-American person, I wanted my curves to be based on who I am because I saw this in my head. And I wanted to bring this to life. And I said, and I want, I want to contribute and to contribute to the African-American to be an author for children's books. And so this is my very first children's book. It's called JJ's Adventure. JJ's have lots of adventures to come. This is the first of many um, books. Um, we have another book coming up in February, not February, in April. This is time for the Easter break. Um, but this is the first one. And this book is from age um, three to seven. And um, it has questions. It's an interactive activity book. It comes with a... Um, it comes with a story, and this first book tells you all about JJ and his family. And then in the back of the book, you um, there are activities that's related to the story. So it's like circle JJ's favorite toys. In the book, we talked about 
JJ, not we. JJ talked about what was his favorite toys. So if the babies listened to the book and they read the book, this will help them remember the important part of the book, help them with their reading comprehension skills. We help them remember what they read and that they understand what they read. So at, in the book, we're going to ask you some questions. You know, circle JJ's favorite toy. So they will find out, remember, what was JJ's favorite toy? Jay Pooh said, I found it. What was JJ's favorite toy? So they will circle that. And then it say, um, here's a picture they could color of JJ and his family. And then it say, circle JJ's favorite food. Because JJ talked about his favorite food in the book. And then we have, let's see. How many people are in JJ's family? They get the circle. How many people did we see in the story? How many people are in JJ's family? They get to circle the number. Which number here represent JJ's family? And then um, we match the pictures with the words. I know this is not your target audience, but people on here have kids. You know, so, and people have grandchildren and things like that. So this is not, I just want to let everybody know what I'm doing because people do have kids and they do have grandchildren. So everything, when you're promoting something, everything, you're talking audience. You don't know who know people who have little children. You don't know who people who want to get a gift for somebody. Every platform that I'm on, everybody is a target audience. Because people have grandchildren, they have children. And also I'll be doing, um, um, Black History Month is coming up. I'm going to be doing some um, readings. What's it called? In libraries and stuff. Um, go doing readings in libraries. So what do you call them when you go to libraries and you do readings for kids? I'm going to do readings in libraries. I'm calling my local library. I'm letting them know that I'm a, a children's book author and I have a very good, you know, activity book. So this is to help our kids as they read and comprehension skills because we could read things but not yet understand what we read. And then kids, you know, they forget sometimes when they read something. So this book helps them um, to answer the questions in the back. And then let me just read y'all one page because it all throughout the book is very interactive. It asks them questions. It say, page one, hi, my name is JJ. I'm three. I live with my mom and dad. We live in the District of Columbia. Where do you live? And then look, there's a line right there. They can actually write in the book. It's an interactive book. They could put right there the state that they live at. That helps them to remember and learn things about themselves. And then it say, welcome to my house. My mom take care of me. My mom take care of me while my dad goes to work. So it's actually a story. Then it's um and and within the story when he's talking to the kids, they get to answer the question too. Like right here, it say, in the morning my mom wakes me up to wash my face and brush my teeth. Who wakes you up? Who wakes you up in the morning? You know, so he asks them a question. They get to put that. My mom wakes me up. My grandma wakes me up. My dad wakes me up. They get the answer right there. You know, so once they, they can ask, ask the story being read to them as they learn about JJ and his adventures, his stories, they get the answer. Um, um, they get the answer. I'm going to go on TikTok too. You know, I got a TikTok too. They get to answer the questions. And then at the end of the book, at the end of the story, they get to answer questions about the book they just read. And then there's just other activities in here um, for the kids. See, it's like match the word to the picture. The company is talk. That's what paper towels. You know, dot the dot with the robots. Um, the number scale. Um, it's amazing here that they could do. And then it's a wish list in the back of the book. Things that they may want to do, places they may want to go, or things they want to do with their family, they could put it on their wish list. And then that's it. It's a little barcode and stuff. So, and this is just the first one. Honey, JJ has so many adventures that he's going to go on. Thank you, Carissa. Yeah, St. Louis. So this is my first, this is my first, um, 
my first book. It's, a, it's story time, it's interactive, and it's activities. Tell so I am so right in the book. <laughs> And I thought about it, you know, and so it's a lot of, so it has so many other stories that I have to tell. So the next book is coming out and the next book is um, JJ's Adventures, JJ Goes to the Zoo. And that book is going to be full of animals and details and questions and stuff about animals and activities in the back about animals and coloring. The next book will be out, um, this is January, February, March, the end of March, early part of April. Um, Jackson love it. Jackson love it. Uh, he was the basis of it. Um, I already wrote so many stories, y'all. I've been so busy. I wrote so many stories. Um, the young lady S A Graphic. I told you guys about her so many times. I told you guys how she does my um, she does my intros and she does this and she does that. Um. If you do not believe that her skills is, uh, is good, look at this. She did all the graphics. She did all the graphics to help me bring my book to life. She read my story and we came up with it to help bring this book to life. It's on Amazon. It's $12.99. And it's $12.99, guys. It's an interactive book. The children get to learn. They got activities that they could do in the back and everything. So um, it is on Amazon. Amazon may be showing a new price, a price on there that's not the regular price. It's, it takes 24 hours to update or something. But uh, I think on Amazon, because they did a suggestion price. Yeah, $12.99 on Amazon, yes. And um, so get you guys. I mean, if you know anybody, if you want, you know, you got grandchildren, um, you think you know someone whose child may need this. Um... My girl, SA Graphic, did it for me. For me, it was, I don't know how to do it. I'm just going to be honest. For me, I found it very challenging. Um, for me, I thank you, lady, d Room. For me, I found it very challenging, but I found someone who helped me do it. She's very reasonable and pricing. Um, um, to put this whole book together, it was, it was less than $500. Um, working with someone, you know, like I said, she really brought my book to life. I gave her the words. Um, she, um, she did the editing, you know, she did the, the, um, illustration. And, you know, it's, 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 if anybody want to work with essay graphic, just email me her. I will give you her, e I will email you her, um, Hey, Taylor, I will email you her address, not her address, her email, and you get with her. She's a very good hard worker, and she would do it. She would do it for you, y'all guys. Yeah, so this is this. I told you guys I was working on a new project. This is my new project. But I'm going into 2024 with positivity, no negativity. I'm going to 2024 with my head up high. Uh, thank you, JC. I'm going to 2024 with my head up high, you know, being positive, not, um, not letting things that I can't control, control me. Um, you know, I just want to, I'm, I'm starting off, I'm, I'm starting off with my head up, you know, that's all I can say, you know, believing in God and allowing him to lead me and allow and allow myself to follow. And this was on my heart for such a long time. And it finally, when my sister asked me, can I help her write a children's story for her class? It automatically, God automatically sent me back here. And so, yeah, so this is my new venture. SoulfulT45 at gmail.com. SoulfulT45 at gmail.com. Contact me and I will give you SA Graphics information. Now, the only thing about SA Graphics, she lives in India. So right now, somebody asked what time this in India. So it may be about 2 o'clock in the morning there. So me and her work late hours for like, I was up at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when it was only like 9, 10, 11 a.m. where she was at. But I had to be up because we had to get the work done. And, you know, but I didn't mind because I was so excited about getting this book done that, you know, it was um, it was worth the late night hours being up with her 
during her time zone. And, you know, so it, it, it'll, work, it'll work itself out if it's something you really want to do. And she works really well. She works efficiently. And she's just good at what she does. You know, graphics and designing and things like that. So, y'all, again, this book is available on Amazon. It's an interactive activity book for ages 3 to 7. I think your kids will like it. And this is the first of many. I plan on for the year 2024. I plan on doing five books. From the year 2024, there will be five books of JJ's Adventures coming out. So I look forward to you guys getting them for your grandchildren, telling a friend to tell a friend. I will be going on TikTok with this as well. Yes, but it's now available at Amazon.com. This is a JJ's Adventure by Tanya Waller. Thank you, Ms. Bullock. I, girl, I, like I said, we already started on the second book. The second book is already starting. It, it's, it's, it's already started. And, and I'm so proud of this and I love it. And it's good quality. It's good quality. To, it's, it's bright. It's, it's vibrant. And, um, and, it, and, it's, and it catches your eye. And I'll be doing um, story time at libraries and all this stuff. So me, I have a team that actually work with me with this. And we already start setting up, um, making phone calls. So I could do story times at libraries and at schools and at like daycare centers and stuff like that. To read the book, to pass the book out and stuff like that. So yeah. And if you out there... If you own a daycare center or something you're interesting, if you're interested in um, getting my book, I can actually get it to you for a wholesale price versus the price that's um, available on Amazon. Just let me know if you're looking for a large quantity for a school or daycare center or anything. Oh, yeah, I never thought about that. Um, a JJ song. Because we already looked into, um, what's some things called when people dress up? Mascots. We already looked into how much it costs to get a mascot of JJ. And honey, them mascot things, because they sew and make and, I said, we can wait on that. But we already looked into a company for, um, for like, as JJ get more popular, his act, the activity books get out there. Because I believe it's going to be popular. I believe that, you know. Um, families and people going to like it because if they get something different for the kids to have a story in the front and then go do work in the back that's related to the story and just to have some activities back there that get their minds, you know, help them with their memory and help them with their remember and things like that. And then seeing that they under that they just understand the story that they heard. So basically that's what it's all about. So it's like putting in Story time will work, and it's just putting it all together. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all how I did that? I was like, who? There's one more. <laughs> yeah, 2024 is going to be a good, 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 good year. Jackson, no, boy, it's bad. <laughs> it's going to be a good year. Yes. And that's me on the back. Y'all, let me just tell y'all, I love you too. I love you too. I might not show that with consistency. Actors should be your next venture. <laughs> hey, net with me. <laughs> um, with consistency, but I do. It has brought me so far in my life and in my endeavors. You know, you guys being on here, you allow me to explore myself to learn more about myself you allow me to figure out who i am as a person as an entrepreneur um amazon.com you can look up jj's adventures by tanya waller um i'll put the link once the just everything is over i'll put the link and put it in my community board but youtube and the positive people that follow me and support me you guys allowed me to be able to explore all the, and, and to embody the person that I want to be. 
That's a lot of support. Throughout negativity and trolls and things like that, there's so much support that makes you want to stay here. That makes you say, I could do this. And like I said, through, through all my inconsistency with things, you guys still hang in there. You still support. It's no here we go again. And I love that. Through YouTube, not only that I, I have become a different person, I'm an author. I would never have seen that. I love writing. I used to write when I was younger. I used to write stories, to write plays. You know, I came in, I came on this platform to show you guys my, my my cooking style. You know, how I grew up with cooking, type of food I grew up around, how I cook with my families. And say, if your kids don't jump on this, I will jump on it. And you guys allow me to go in so many different directions here on this platform, from being a home cook, showing how I cook my meal, to introduce you guys to my family and, and, and intertwine you into my life. We got an entanglement going on. <laughs> we got an entanglement going on, okay? To the point where that, you know, they screamed cookbook. And when you screamed cookbook, I did too. To the point when... um. We talked about surviving domestic violence, you know, getting your butt whooped. I want to say the other word, you know, and coming out on top. I shared that story. I threw a book out there about that. From Tragedy to Triumph. If you didn't know I have a book on Amazon, I now literally have four books on Amazon. I went from two cookbooks to a book talking about how I survived domestic violence from Tragedy to Triumph, to a children's author. God would do it. God would do it. He would put the people in front of you that you would need. He would place you on that yellow brick road, on that journey. You just got to learn how to follow. You have to learn how to follow, and you have to listen and not stray. And he would lead you places you never thought. And with his help, your help and with my help, he led us on our next adventure. Now, I ain't talking about my flour, my sweet potato pie mix, so many things that you guys allow me to do to explore. One thing, some things, all things will work itself out. You got to have faith. You got to second guess yourself. I'm not, I'm not into second guessing myself no more. I'm not into second guessing myself. I'm into doing. I'm into doing. I kept telling you guys I was working on a project. I was working on a project. This is what I was working on. Like I said, this is the book that's 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 ready. But there are so many more up in here. There, my telephone already holds three more stories already. And I say my goal is to do five books a year. And I already had three stories already. So all we got to do is put them together. Get the illustration, pick a date, and release it. The stories has already been written. It has been told. Yes, no, the first book she wrote. Yeah, now the black and white one. Yes, my girl essay graphic. She killed the illustration, y'all. She killed this illustration. She she did. She she killed the illustration on this book, y'all. Yeah. Say, oh, thanks, Tanya. Okay. She she killed it. She really did. I was so, when the book came this morning, I was just so surprised and so overwhelmed with it. I was like, oh, my goodness. Are you serious? My book is here. And only thing I said that it was a little bit bigger than I thought, but then I thought about it. She said it's an activity book, you know, and you got kids, and, and kids need things bigger and bright and bold Things to catch their attention, to catch their eye. And that's what we did. We wanted to go more of a coloring book type style format. And that's what this did. But yeah, so I think I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to get off to a great spot, like I said. So thank you, Miss Wanda. So if you know anybody who have any babies who's working on their reading and their memory and just want a good story, this JJ's Adventure Meet JJ's family. I had to introduce you to JJ before I introduce you to his story. 
So this is this is all about this is getting to know JJ. So you can know who JJ is, who's in JJ family, who take kids of JJ. And then from there, we on, baby. We are on. JJ go to the zoo. JJ goes to the big red top ten. I mean, it's just so many. JJ goes to the firehouse. JJ in the big red fire engine. That's one of the stories I got already. It's just so amazing how it comes. So, yeah. Like I said, um, we plan to do five books a year. And the first story has already been written. And two other stories have already been written. We just got to put them together and do release dates. So, yeah, so squad. I'm so happy about this one. Thank you, trucking is my thing. Trucking is my thing. <laughs> I like that. So, yeah. I'm going to put it out there. 2024 is positive, people. Anything you wish for. It's a wish list in this book. 2024. Anything you wish for, write it down. Go for your dreams. It's never too late. Thank you. You know, I know everything, you know, but I'm going to promote. 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 I'm going to keep putting them out there. She's doing fine. I think it's hard to do anything that we do. But I don't think we should let anything stop us. Tell them to keep going to the drawing board. Just keep doing and keep doing. It, I did, like I said, this is new for me in the children book area. And I'm just going to keep going for it. I think I got a little niche going on with it because it has activities in the back. Um, you know, it, it keep them in good color, dot to dot. And I'm just stepping out on faith. Thank you, Rolanda. Yes. I'm excited about it. Yep. So, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I want to say thank you to everybody who got me something off my registry. Um... Thank you. You have the color known. Who can't read? Yes. Yes. Everything happening is what's working for. It is. It is. And you got to put your all into everything. You got to. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm not. I know everything. In the, everybody is not a get quick witch scheme. But people get this. You know, everybody get, you know, get something off the top. You know, like I say, it's with Amazon and, um, oh, excuse me. Oh, what the pig? What through that cover? I'm sorry. I apologize. That came from nowhere. Um, it's with Amazon. And I think it's going to do well. It's about marketing and getting it out there. Oh, good. Have a nice time living life in Florida. Never give up. Never retreat. Never surrender. <laughs> that was my newbie. Never give up. Never retreat. Never surrender. Thank you, Tanya. But if you put in um, JJ's Adventure by Tanya Waller, put in JJ's Adventure by Tanya Waller. W-A-L-L-E-R. My first name, Tanya. T-A-N-Y-A. It'll come up. Do JJ's Adventure by Tanya Waller. It'll come up. But I'm gonna put the when we get finished, I'm gonna put the link in the um I'll put the link out there up there. And like I said, and I don't expect um, like I said, I know I deal with a lot of grown-ups, but grown-ups have families. We got families, y'all. Grown-ups know somebody got a kid, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, somebody. Uh thank you, Lynn. Hey, sleep the star. No, I'm going to be here. I'm, I tell you, i am be here at 1030 shop. i am be at 1030 from 1030 to 1230. We're going to ring in the New Year together from 1030 to 1230. We're going to talk. We're going to do some movie trivia. We're going to, um, I don't know. I ain't going to have no music. I don't have no Alexa no more. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jan. Jan said she just ordered the book for her grandson. See, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. 
And it is more to come. It is more to come. The next book, the next installment will be out early March, early, um, early, um, late March, um, early April. The um, the book will be out, and it's JJ's adventure. JJ goes to the zoo, and yeah, that book. That's the next book, guys. And thank you so much. What's up, Miss Bird? Hey, Lo, are you still in here? Cause you putting people on timeout. <laughs> Thank you, Mo Cash. What's up, Mo Cash? No, I probably won't have no water snacks in the morning. Thank you. Yes, put in um JJ's Adventure by Tanya Waller. And this should come up. Somebody right say. Oh, I was thinking that. So let me tell you. Who's who's this? Um, Annie. That's already on the line, Annie. That's already on the line. We already talking about how can we bring JJ to YouTube. So I will be having the children's channel in 2024. I buy all my hair wraps from Amazon, baby. And they be coming like three in a pack. And stuff. So, um, they become three in the pack, and I buy all my hair wraps from Amazon. I don't go. I have not yet been to a store and bought a hair wrap. Every hair wrap you see me wear, it came from Amazon. I just get them all from there. Um, so that's another thing. That's why I said my 20, 2024, I am going in such a new direction. So, um, we are bringing JJ to YouTube in two thousand twenty-four. Um, yep, JJ's Adventures by Tanya Waller. Um, he is come to YouTube in 2024. We're just trying to figure out how we're going to do it. We don't know. We want to do it as a story time. Me flipping the pages, holding the camera and showing it. Or we trying to get animated animation. Somebody said, when you order it, you get 13 points on Amazon. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's the, we, I have a whole new staff. Um, that's actually a whole new group of people that's helped me with JJ's adventure. And we are trying to bring him in on YouTube in 2024, but we just don't know how we're going to do it yet. Animated. What is the less cost effective? Why don't you partner with Amazon? I don't know if you can, I don't know anything about that. I think the points go towards like your Amazon Kindle. Like you get points probably to get free other, get free books. Or something from Amazon through the Kindle. Yeah, so thanks for the suggestion, but we on that too. He's coming to YouTube. I just don't know when we have to figure out the less the less um the less expensive way to do it. To get to get to get it up there. Yeah, me JJ's family. Yes, thank you, Miss Brooker. Yes, I am so excited. But yeah, you guys think so? They great minds think alike. You got you got all the different platforms. You got to make it happen. Oh, thank you. She said, I don't have any small kids, but I'll find someone to give it to. Xavier, are you still a Walmart affiliate? Yes and no. Someone said what? I know the Prince family has a cartoon on YouTube. Yes. Oh, wow. And, um... Thank you. So, yeah. What's up, Tennessee North in the house? Thank you, LaShawn. So, um, it's a lot of things that we've been talking about what we want to do, the, my team and I. So, when it comes to JJ, he's about, he, he's about to explode in so many directions. I don't know. But I've seen the Prince Family cartoon. And, yeah. And I'm, that's, what I'm, that's, that's our next step of um, making him animated. Thank you, Miss Skies. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I am out because the bathroom is calling me. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to collect all my things to put up. I want to say thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for um, my housewoman gifts. And yes, the registry is still up. Thank you for great ideas about JJ. You know, we all on the same page when it comes to him. And thank you for ordering. And I will put the link in the description once the live is over. And I will be going on TikTok. And I'll get a commercial paper towel. 
It said the commercial. What's it say, baby? So let's see. And everybody in the chat, Happy New Year. Thank you. Oh, it is? Commercial paper towel. Oh, you said put it on my list? Oh, okay. I'll add the paper towels to my list. Thank you, Lean. I enjoy you guys every time I come on it. Jazzy, I'm so excited about JJ. <laughs> you, you girl, you and me both. So, name the book was some called. The name the character is actually is JJ because it's short for Jack Jack. The Jackson, and I call him Jack Jack. And some and a good friend of mine say shorten it from Jack Jack to JJ. So that's why his name is called. That's why it's JJ's adventure. But his, his, the character name is Jackson. And the character nickname is Jack Jack. So we took it all the way down to JJ because you need something simpler and easier and catchy for the kids to say. And it's more, it's more catchier and easier for a child to say, JJ. And so, you know, it was more easier than all constantly saying Jack 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 Jack. So we took it from the, just, that's where the JJ came from, saying Jack Jack. And Jack Jack came from Jackson. So, yeah, so that's how I ended up with the name. A good friend of mine told me, hey, just make it JJ. It's more simpler and easier for kids. Sure, um, I guess I could put it on, um, I could put the Visa gift cards on my, on my, on my list. I could put it, I could put it in on Amazon. I'll, I'll go in and add the paper towels and I'll add the Visa gift cards on, on Amazon. But even with the, um, the gift card for buy groceries, for content, the food channel will and always going to stay at two food videos a week. Thank you, Miss Armstein. Thank you. Um, the food channel right now is going to stay at two videos per week. That's what I'm doing. I want to buy the paper towels. All right, I'm about to go put them on there. As soon as we get finished, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to put the link to the book. I'm going to go add the paper towels to the um, the paper towels and the visa cards to the um, wish list. And thank you guys so much. Let me go because I got some go because y'all know the bladder is not strong. She's not strong at all. All right, I got to go. Love you so squad. See you tomorrow night at 1030. If you're able to make it, we're going to spend the new year together.